Hi guys, welcome to another Color My Page challenge. As you can see, I have another package. I've been sent some more paints to try and review and make a Color, color My Page challenge with. So that's what we're going to do. But before I show you what's in here, I want to say that speaking of gifts, I have a gift for one of you this time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a painting with the colors that you choose for me in the poll on my blog and I'm going to give that painting away to one of the people that vote in the poll. So what you do is you go to my blog and then you just do the vote, so you, you do the poll, so you click your five favorite colors and then please leave a remark um, under my blog post so that I can contact you if you win. So, now, let's see what's in here, because I was really pleasantly surprised. Gina contacted me before she sent me this, so I knew it was coming, but she sent me so much more than she promised. Um, <clears throat> what Gina contact contacted me about was that she had a lot of Daniel Smith watercolor sticks, and she said you can chop them up and put them in pans, so then you have pan paint, and it's really, really nice, because... Um, it's supposedly a bit cheaper than the tube paints. So I was really curious um, because in my last color my page I had one uh, watercolor stick and I also used it as a pen um, and I didn't use it straight onto the paper. I don't know if, it, if it's meant to but um, it was a really good paint. So let's see what we have here. You see three colors here. They are by Kremer or Creamer. We're not involving these in the poll, so you will only be seeing these colors, um, except for the gold of this brand is amazing. So what I'm going to do is whatever colors you choose, I will also add some gold in it, <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> right, then on to what Gina sent me, and it was a really, really enormously gen generous um, um, gift that she sent me um, because this is a big big box full of um, art supplies um, first thing is that I'm really happy that Gina sent me three color, color uh, three colors of M Graham watercolors and um, this is a paint that I've been dying to try <clears throat> simply because you guys keep telling me how wonderful it is and um, the thing is, I have been looking into buying some online, but it is incredibly expensive to import it. For some reason, this paint is just... There are some paints that I can get by through the European market, which makes it easier and cheaper for me to buy. But recently I had... No, not recently. A little while ago I had paint coming from the United States, and the customs charges were so high that, you know... Um, that paint was a lot cheaper than this is, and uh, for the for for the price of this money, custom charges if I were charged as much would be incredible. So I haven't yet tried it. So I'm really really thankful, Gina, that you sent me these because you know this is making me really happy. I can't wait to try them. They're amazing. Thank you. Um, then Gina also sent me, I never knew these existed, um, uh, Prismacolor markers in uh, different sizes. Uh, some are fine liners and some are um, chisel, to chisel topped. Um, so, no, chisel tip. <laughs> chisel top, no, chisel tip markers. So I really am curious to try them. I have Prismacolor pencils and they are wonderful. So um, I'm looking forward to giving these a try in my drawings and combine them with watercolor. I might, I might use them in whatever's coming up for the challenge, who knows. Um, then Gina sent me five uh, Daniel Smith watercolor sticks aside from this color chart. Um, and I've decided not to use them in the color my page challenge because I would like to use Gina's chart um, for it. So um, what I have here is Pearl Orange, uh, Hematite Genuine, Cobalt Teal Blue, Opera Pink and Quinacridone Burnt Scarlet. 
So what I am going to do is I will be making a full review on uh, on the Daniel Smith watercolor stick soon and I will take both the contents of the lovely box that Gina created for me as well as these full watercolor sticks. So I will tell you all about them and show you what they look like on paper. So now move on, moving on to the challenge. These are the colors that Gina composed for me to make the challenge of. So I'm taking these out. We're not using these. I am using this one, but you don't have to vote for gold, for gold because I'm using it anyway. So there are a lot of colors for you to choose from, as you can see. Um, so if you go over to my blog, you will see a photo of this color chart so that you can take a really good look at the colors you would like to see me use in the next um, demo of this paint that I will post online very soon. So there is a lot to choose from. I'm really, really curious. I've only used um, a green color that I got from Caroline a little while ago and that pleasantly surprised me because I was a little bit hesitant to accept it, I have to say honestly. Um, but it was really great. So, and looking at the brightness of the colors on this chart, um, you know, I think that I really am going to like this as well. So, the instructions, once more, go to my blog. I will post the link in here, in the video, in a few areas. You've already seen it probably. Um, and down below, on the, under, below this video, visit my blog and take part in the poll. You pick five favorite colors and the top three will be used to make a painting with, in combination this time with this creamer, gold. And this time I will give the painting away to one of you who votes. So if you take part in the poll, don't forget to leave a comment below the blog post so that I can contact you uh, for your shipping information. So thank you for watching. See you on my blog. Bye.